let's see how well I can wrestle Saran Wrap. <laughs> oh, oh, not very well. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are gonna get more bloopers out of me than painting if I actually show you what I do wrong. I'm Rebecca, the frugal resinista. I'm the mom of five amazing little kids, but I discovered a couple years ago that I needed something that was just for me, so I tried resin painting, and I fell in love with it. But I quickly discovered that being a resin artist was really expensive. So I started exploring ways that I could create beautiful art but do it on a budget. Once I discovered that that was possible, my new goal became to teach other people how to do the same thing so that resin art could be accessible for anyone. I believe that there's an artist in all of us and we just need the opportunity to discover it in ourselves. Thank you for joining me on my art journey and I hope that you create your own art as well as you learn from my videos. Remember, no matter what your final product looks like, your art is beautiful because you created it with your own hands. Ooh, it's on fire. Rebecca the Frugal Resinista here. I am going to do a quick resin pour and swipe. I've done this a lot with acrylics but I haven't really done many swipes with resin so we'll see how it goes. I am using a fun little piece of canvas here. This is from the brand Squangles and they're meant to be canvases that you can connect together to make larger pieces but I just like them because they have a really thick edge. I believe this is an inch and a half edge and what I've done is I've gone ahead and just taped the bottom of it with my painter's tape. And I'm going to put some color on and then instead of doing a regular swipe in one direction, I want there to still be a focal point in the middle of this. And I, I'm sure there's other videos on this somewhere because I don't think I came up with this idea. But I'm going to use some saran wrap and put it over the top and then pull it up from the middle so that my color pulls in. And then I'll hit it with my blowtorch. So real quickly, here are the colors I'm using. Americana brand acrylic paint in spa blue, craft smart, deep bronze, and I'm going to add some of my testers enamel paint and copper to that. Folk art in vintage tea rose, apple barrel English navy, and folk art in berry wine. And then I'm going to be using Apple Barrel White as my base to pour all over this before I put the colors on. And also, I'm going to mix a little bit of my Pearlex powder pigment in Macro Pearl into each of my colors. Not the white, but each of the other colors that I'm doing. I'm using Stone Coat Countertop Quick Coat Resin, and I will mix that up and mix all the colors and speed all that up for you. And then I will slow down for the pour since it's a short pour and talk our way through it. you guys my paint is mixed and ready I'm gonna start by pouring a base of white all over this and I'm gonna use my fingers to make sure it gets down on all the edges because I'm gonna let everything pour over on this one all right I think that looks pretty good so what I'm gonna do because I want to pull my swipe inward like this is I'm going to actually start adding colors from the edges and then work my way inward. And just a quick thing too, remember if you are going to torch and let this drip all over, Go ahead and use your torch on your drips on your paper as well real quick because you can peel those off and make jewelry out of them. Frugal tip. Got my drips done as well. Made sure my edges were done. Okay. Let's see how well I can wrestle saran wrap. <laughs> oh, not very well. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are going to get more bloopers out of me than actual painting if I actually show you what I do wrong. Jeez. Okay. Well, hang on. Take two. This is hard with gloves on. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do a small piece. 
All right, what I'm going to do is lay this flat right on top, which always makes me nervous because I think this piece is cute how it is, and I don't want to ruin it. And I'm going to pat it down so that I'm sure that at least most of the saran wrap is touching my resin. Got a couple bubbles in there, but that'll add to the neat effect. And then I kind of made myself a bullseye. So I'm going to grab right here in my berry wine color and just pull the whole thing up and see what happens. Ooh. Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right. I'm going to let that settle a second while I clean myself off here. And then I'm going to move it around a little. All right, now here's where the cool part comes in for this design. I'm going to re-pour what's left in my cups. I saved half, and I'm going to do some more lines, but these are not going to be mushed quite as much. So instead of just a completely abstract piece, we're going to have this really abstract, but then I'm going to move my other lines, probably with just a straw or something, so that I have some really mushy stuff and so that I have some that's more solid. So you guys know me, I always need to add sparkles. <laughs> so we're going to come in with some stones in the center. This isn't really a geode, but I'm going to just pick a few different spots where we're going to have some glittery stones. And I am still going to draw acrylic lines in this afterward, but not in geode shape. I'm going to make it more abstract. These are just clear mirror glass stones from Michaels. And I love these because they match anything. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let that cure and we'll move on to the next part. I have let this cure for about four hours now. I'm gonna take it off of the base that it's on and show you guys how I do the bottom edge. And then I'm gonna just draw some fun, funky lines. So I'm going to show you guys, if you've seen my earlier video on doing jewelry with these drips, I save these, so I'm going to set them off to the side. If they're really tiny like that, I don't worry about it, but I still pop them off because I can reuse my cups to prop my art. But look, I some of this is really pretty, so I will definitely use that for jewelry. I really like this color combination, I've never used it before. I think it's pretty cool. I might do it as a geode now that I've seen it on a tiny simple piece. This might be kind of messy for some of you guys compared to what I usually do with all my lines, but I just thought this was neat and I like how some of this clear glass, you ended up being able to see the colors underneath. So even though most of what was in here was gold and pink, once I put this down, the teal popped through and it really is a cool 3D effect from my angle. I know you can't see it great on the video, but. All right, let me get these drips off. And then with these drips that are left over with the tape, I just push them back and pull them that way. So I'm going to take my finger and just push back that way and they pop off. Now most people don't see the back so I'm not super worried about it but just to give you guys an idea of how I do backs or sides if they have a lot on them I'm going to get rid of this and then for some reason just right along here I had a couple drips that stuck around so all you have to do is heat with your blowtorch, heat that resin that's right along there. So I'm going to get this whole part that got under the tape. Ooh, it's smoking. Try not to burn it. 
I'm just going to get a couple of these drips. I obviously don't want to do too much. But I'm just getting stuff warm. And then I'm going to take my straight razor blade and I'm going to just peel it right off like that. See how easily that comes off once you've warmed it up? Okay. So I'm going to do it again. There. And I only had those on that side, so now I am all set. So I have a piece that's not too bad on the bottom. I'm not worried about this, but you can use your razor blade to get all that off if you wanted to. The next thing I'm going to do is draw some acrylic lines. All right, I am going to use my Craft Smart acrylic paint pens that are extra fine tipped. These are at Michael's or online. You guys can see them in my Amazon store, and I will link you to those in the description. But these are just really fine tip and they're easy to use. I am not going to try to make this a geode like I said. I'm just going to add some lines and see what happens because this is really a kind of free form abstract piece. funky piece. I will be honest, after I did the saran wrap and I pulled it off, I was like, oh shoot, this is not going to be good. But I really like this. This is really cool. So I'm going to give you guys a close up. But as always, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate you giving me feedback and all of the wonderful things you guys have said and pictures you've shared on my Facebook page and on Instagram. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Check out my Patreon page for bonus features, a bunch of extra cool material, and different tips and discounts and things. And as always, I hope that you create your own art from what you see me doing, because some of you can do bigger and better, and share it with me, please, please, please. I love to see what you guys do. Have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.